the normal track, like your voice pops out. Like, have you like what what helped you hone that voice? Uh, really, just listening to a lot of music and listening to I mean, just even going over my stuff. Like I um, I mean, I you know how people say that all they listen to is themselves. I mean, I, I I do listen to a lot of my own music just to go over and see what I could do different and what what type of things like, especially with growth and everything. Um, but I listen to a lot of other music. You know what I mean, just to hear like how people are playing with their voice and how how people are creating new sounds because it just inspires. Like, I mean, it helps it helps me to try to develop new things and, or go into new songs with new approaches and different ideas that I have and throw my voice and really make it stand out. Got you, got you. That's what's up, man. It's definitely what's up. Mr. Norman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have it on your phone right now, brother. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> uh, then the fact that you, you know what I'm saying, you own your own, you basically own your own studio, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you feel like your time is split between people coming in and trying to get studio time? Or, you know what I'm saying, you just focus straight on the, your, your projects? No, I mean, like, at a, at a point in time, like, it kind of was, you know what I mean? Because when I was, like, really, really, like, heavily recording people. But, like, now, over the past six months, it's kind of been, like, you know, I've kind of been, like, doing that less and less and more focusing on just doing my own music and everything. So it's not really an issue. And, I mean, even even at that time, it wasn't really an issue. You know, I always got time to work on my own stuff, you know what I mean? You know, if you, whenever you want it, you want it. You know, you're going to make time for it regardless. Definitely. Um... Yeah, it's never really been a problem, you know. I got, I always got tons of time to work on music, so, you know. We'll put you on the hot seat. When we're we going to hear a Space Jam, Jif, and Norman Dean collab? We already, we already had one done, like, uh, we, we did, you know, a whole, like, 16, uh, a, a, a whole 16 track project and everything, um, you know, but we didn't end up putting it out whenever we were originally going to, but that's coming in 2016, too. All right. We're just gonna, like, refine it, you know, we're gonna, like, take, keep some of the tracks we did for it and then, like, do some more because, you know, it's been, like, some time since we had completed that piece of work and we're both a lot better, you know, now, so we went that to reflect, you know, our current skill level and everything, so. Bet, bet. It's coming. All right. My brother's keeper. Definitely. So, same cover, same, you know, same shit. We waiting on it, man. It's coming. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>